On Saturday, the Ministry of Health updated that there are four rare cases of multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, uh, two of whom have recovered and have been discharged. I've just heard that there's a fifth case admitted. It won't be counted in today's statistics. It will count in tomorrow's statistics, but this will become our fifth case of MISC. The ones that are still in hospital are being stabilized uh, by the team and are recovering. But let me share a little bit of information. This condition, it affects different body organs, including the heart, the lungs, the kidneys, the brain, the eyes. It can be inflamed. And it's a rare condition, and it's noted to occur following the infection of a child with COVID-19. However, the manifestation of this disease is very similar to Kawasaki disease, which is a condition that our doctors here in Singapore are very, very familiar with. And so MISC, as far as we can tell, although it's serious, it has risks, and it does potentially require intensive care treatment, with timely access to the right care, it's eminently treatable, and we will need to do our best for all of these children, and with the full expectation that they will respond to the treatment that we provide. The four cases, now five, identified with MISC, are among the eight, over 8,000 pediatric COVID-19 cases in Singapore since the start of the pandemic. Remember that most children with COVID-19 infection will be entirely asymptomatic or stable, not requiring intensive care, not requiring oxygen, and the best measure to protect all our children from both MISC as well as COVID-19 infection is to avoid them getting COVID-19 in the first place. So good personal hygiene, safe management measures, and then when vaccination becomes available for children, if we can all adopt that, that will help to protect them as far as possible.